Hey everybody, it's Matt with Jinx Brothers, and we've got ourselves another state penny box. This one is a special box to me. Um, I recently lost my father. He uh, unexpectedly passed, and when I was up in New York, I did not have a box. And so I uh, picked up a box, and this is for him. I really don't care what I find. I just want to hunt a box for my dad. So anyhow, this is box 22 in the hunt. We have 198 spots filled. We have 84 to go. Last box was a little trim. So we're hoping this one is better. But like I said, I have not hunted uh, anything for about two weeks now. So, uh, really finding anything will be a pleasure. So, I have checked the box. It is circulated. We do have 50 rolls. So, I'm going to jump into this box, see what I can find, and we'll come back at you with our first goodies. <laughs> Roll 10. Thought I'd come in for a quick update. Still haven't found a wheat yet. <laughs> when I said I didn't want to find anything, I was just kind of joking about that a little bit. I would love to find something. But we have found a boatload of Canadians already. 10 rolls in. We already have seven Canadians. And we have uh, 409s. We've got a couple of 81s started and a little bit of copper. So still waiting on that first wheat. So, I'm going to get back into the box, and hopefully I'll be back soon. Roll 17, and we finally hit pay dirt. Our first wheat, and it was an ender. As you know, I don't normally check. But it was a 1941, heads facing. We had an ender. Weedy number one. We've still been crushing it with the Canadians. We've got 12 already. We have uh, 509s, a bunch of 81s, and the Copper Cup's looking good. Can we find some more wheats? Come on, Granddad Box. Well, we're just chugging along here. Roll 23. <laughs> oh boy. This has been a slow one, folks. 1944. Not gorgeous. Definitely has some funk on it. A lot of these coins seem to have like, uh, it seems like oil almost. One of the wrappers was almost black inside. They all have kind of a sheen to them. It's kind of weird. I don't know if they were re-greasing the machines or what. Still killing the Canadians, but we need number two. Roll 28 will bring weedy number three. <laughs> We're working hard today, folks. And this one, again, this roll had kind of like that greasy feel to it. And you can see this blackness on these coins. 1955D. Roll 30. We could be warming up. We've got ourselves. A 1952, still not in great shape, but weedy four, and look at all these Canadians, plus the 09s. So, box is still working, just not a lot of wheat so far. Roll 32, and it looks like we are warming up because we've got ourselves another wheat. 1957D. This one's actually a little prettier than the last couple. We'll take it. We need five. Woohoo! We got a double. 19. See, this is actually the same roll. So this is uh, roll 32. We've got a 1953D. Definitely warming up. That is we six. Roll 34, 
while I don't come in for all the Canadians, 35 so far, I do come in for George. Oh, oh. what date are we gonna have here? 1940, the wheat of the Canadians, George. We'll add him. That's four and 36. <laughs> All right, back to the hunt. Roll 38 brings us another wheat. It seems like all the wheats are going to be date facing today. 1957. This one's in better shape than the ones that we've been finding has less crud on it. Weedy seven. And we're still finding tons of Canadians. Holy Toledo. Roll 39, and no faster than I say it. We've got wheat ears. And this one's actually pretty nice, too. Our first wheat ears facing. What are we going to get? 1956. And that was sharp, man. That's the best wheat so far. Weedy 8. Who would have thought we'd be up to 8 wheats after our such a slow start? We might get to 10. Let's see what we can find. Roll 41. And we've got some more weed ears, baby. And we are now just one away from our magical 10. Who would have thunk? A pretty toasty 51. But a weedy nonetheless. So, we've got 10 rolls, or 9 rolls left. Just to pull one more wheat, and we'll have hit our magic number that we're looking for in the box and who knows maybe we'll crush it next roll roll 42 and boom we've done it we've got to our 10 i would have never never imagined that just a 1951 in better shape than the other ones from the box but weedy 10 wow Let's see how many we can get past 10. Roll 46. And we did beat them. The 10. This one is not looking so pretty, but it was weird years facing and what we have. 1957D. So we haven't found any old Wheaties, but we have found 11. And yet another twofer. Still roll 46. Weirders facing. This one is pretty compared to the ones we've been seeing. And it is a 1958 Weedy 12. Now we're just looking for the Baker's Dozen. Last roll luck. We've got our Baker's Dozen. And since I said something, it seems like I'm getting all weed ears. Still just a 50s. 1953 D. But it's a baker's dozen, and I'm happy about that. Alrighty, the granddad New York box is done. And it was a pretty interesting box. The box started off ridiculously slow, but ended up being a pretty interesting hunt. We got a boatload, look at these guys, of Canadians. I think at one point in the video I said 36 and I was off by 10. I was adding my rows wrong. We ended up with a total of 37 foreigns, all Canadians. Um, we did get the one King George. These are 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So a nice smattering of dates. Um, just a ton of Canadians, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, the, this box came from Rochester, which is just an hour and a half uh, east of the border with Canada. So we tend to see quite a few Canadians up there. So it was not shocking. Um, I, I guess it was surprising to still see so many Canadians, seeing that they stopped minting them almost 10 years ago. And we ended up with 41 of our 81s. As you know, I'm going for the world record. I've almost got my first box filled. 
and only have something ridiculous like 25 more boxes to go. But we'll get there. So keep track of your 81s. If you want to send them to me, I'd love to have them. 2009s, we ended up with a baker's dozen. Uh, I'm sorry, no, we didn't. We ended up with 12 2009s. This crazy thing was, is six of them were the presidential, which uh, is the hardest one to find, um, but not in this box. We had uh, two in the 40s. We had 11 in the 50s for the wheats. We did end up with um, one upgrader. Now, this one's not... The prettiest, it does have some stuff on it, but the one in the book is really corroded. So this will be upgrading our 52. We did find some nice ones though, 68 and 63D. They'll definitely upgrade the book. And we did have a filler, and guess what it is? Our 2021P. So it's pretty telling. This will be in remembrance of my dad. This is the year that we lost him. So I will be marking that in the book. We did find one error, a 1969D. No FG. I'm not sure how crazy they are. I've been looking at PCGF. There is no FG there on the back. I'm not sure how crazy they are about telltale signs. I can see... I don't know if it's damaged or just slight raised elements, but let's see if I can show you guys here. I mean, there's just a little something, something there that I feel like it, I don't know if they're crazy with the FGs where it has to be 100% flat. I looked at the examples. It looks, I mean, I had it under magnification and you really don't see anything unless you hit it under the right light, but I'm calling it an OFG. So, it's not a huge uh, value coin unless it's in really good grade. So, I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm going to count it. So, the, oh, and uh, copper. Our copper cup had uh, 1,638 grams. So, a little bit higher than average, but certainly not uh, the heaviest so far. So overall, pretty awesome hunt, man. I mean, we found a, a nice little mix of everything. We do, I'm going to put, uh, we did have this one that's getting into the book with some upgrades. I am still going to put the KG in one of our empty spots since he is kind of a special little Canadian. It's our Canadian wheat, I guess I like to call him. So those are the, these are the five coins that will be going into the book. We'll see how many of them stay. This 2021 will 100% stay, though. So, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to toss my map up there like I always do. I am out of boxes. I do not have anything in queue. I have some that have said that will be sent to me. So, hopefully, they'll show up before uh, I am out of videos. This is going to go up um, a, a slightly a week ahead. So, this is going up on Sunday. But I don't have anything ready for next Sunday. So, if you'd like to trade, send me a box, swap a box for me, anything. Look for the states that are in white. Red has been hunted. Blue, which I think there's only one uh, that's currently promised that's not hunted, is somebody that's going to send me a box. All the others are open, and I need them. And I, I need them badly. I am out of boxes. So, reach out to me if you're in one of those states would like to buy, sell, trade. I'm interested. Um, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I really appreciate you swinging by and seeing my hunts. So, until next time, have a great one. And I'll catch you all in the next hunt.